In this forecast, a major pattern change will bring rounds of severe weather and a cold blast. All modes of severe weather will be possible in the Midwest this weekend. And we have an important update on Tropical Storm Fiona in the Atlantic Ocean. All of that and more is coming right up. A pretty major pattern change is coming to the United States over the next several days. Let me give you a breakdown on what's expected in this forecast. Here's a look at the jet stream. You can see that back out here in the north. We have a pretty strong high pressure ridge that's down in the southern United States states that's keeping a lot of areas including texas pretty dry as of right now due to this ridge and that might even bring a heat wave to the central and southern plains over the next several days as we go in motion throughout this upcoming weekend you can begin to see back out to the west really far west of your screen here back over near california a little low pressure system starts to develop right off the coast of california what does this mean for california well it actually means a lot of beneficial rain could come to those that are desperately needing it right now so a lot of good news for california otherwise We'll have this jet stream that goes all the way back up here into the northern plains. There might be some severe weather events back down in areas like the central and northern plains and as well as the Midwest over the next several days. Again, more on that here in just a few moments in our forecast. Other than that, though, the jet stream will really continue to sit in the same spot over the next several days. We will have another low pressure system back up in Canada that might even bring some storm activity to the Ohio Valley and northeast going into potentially next week. So late next week, potentially that could occur. Other than that, a lot of uncertainty beyond them but a lot of good news especially for california those that desperately need that right now here's a look at the temperatures over the next several days just the average temperatures we are going to see a pretty much above average week ahead and weekend going into next week though that low pressure system back up in canada could bring an extremely beneficial cool down to those in the northern plains but this also might feel a little bit chilly to some of you that are just getting your first little look at fall you can see a big difference in temperatures coming to new england potentially going into the following weekend we could literally see frost to actually occur in some areas of New England going into next week. So a big story there. Definitely going to be something to monitor over the long term. Other than that, we do have a chance for severe weather today. We have our biggest chance on Saturday. I'll get to that here in just a moment. But there is a marginal threat of severe weather back through South Dakota all the way into the Texas Panhandle for some isolated damaging winds, maybe a little bit of quarter-sized hail. Here's a look at your timing over in Kansas. We'll see some showers and storms fire up later this afternoon into the early evening hours back near Hayes, Garden City, and Dodge City, eventually going into the late evening and overnight hours a lot of showers and storms ongoing again a lot of these will likely not be severe but those that are might produce some damaging winds potentially up to 65 miles per hour there's also another chance for severe weather pretty small area tomorrow it's going to include nebraska as well as maybe areas in south dakota overall main threats are going to be damaging winds and large hail again here's a quick look at your timing you can see eventually going into the afternoon hours and early evening we'll see a little area of storms come out of wyoming and as well as even maybe colorado that might bring some isolated damaging winds and again a little bit quarter-sized tail with a storm or two out in front of that definitely not out of the question here is a look at the severe weather potential going into Saturday. This is going to be a bit of an interesting situation because this might get upgraded to a slight risk uh, depending on what happens here over the next 24 hours and as more confidence builds. But there is a potential for all modes of severe weather across portions of the Midwest on Saturday and maybe even Sunday. So this can be a day to watch for very closely. That marginal threat does include Wisconsin all the way back down into areas like Missouri, Iowa, Nebraska, and as well as Kansas for the potential for damaging winds, isolated large hail, Maybe a couple of tornadoes not out of the question. And this is why the low-level jet will strengthen going into Saturday. Values reaching around 35 to 40 knots will have moderate shear heading into this weekend. So there definitely could be the potential for maybe a couple of tornadoes out of a couple of these storms. And maybe even into Sunday, we could see a little threat down in areas like Illinois, maybe near Chicago, for example. There might be an isolated threat there through back through Missouri and maybe northeastern Kansas. So that will be something to watch for very closely as well. Here's a look at your timing. This is just kind of a general picture going into late saturday night we'll see some storms develop again our best chance is going to be late saturday night and as well as going into sunday we'll probably see some storms going into the later portions of the day maybe into the late evening and overnight hours you can begin to see maybe a line of storms developing that could potentially bring some damaging wind potential with that here's a look at the tropics as of right now this is a big system as of right now tropical storm fiona is producing a punch right now out in the atlantic ocean this is not too far away from the lesser antilles and it will make impacts to land keep that in mind it will not most likely impact the united states at least at this given time but it is definitely going to impact areas like the lesser antilles and puerto rico the national hurricane center as of right now tracking this really right off towards areas like
countries like Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, and Haiti. Eventually, from there, a lot of uncertainty does remain. Some computer models bring it out to the north and out to sea before it ever gets to the United States, while some bring it the different direction. More on that here in just a second. And here's a look at what computer models bring this to in terms of intensity. Most of them keep it at a tropical storm level over the next three days. But beyond that, going into potentially early next week, this may become a Category 1 hurricane and maybe even as high as a Category 2 or 3 hurricane, depending on its direction. If it goes out to sea, it has a very likelihood uh, of becoming a Category 1 or 2 hurricane. If it goes towards the Gulf of Mexico, it will likely take a while to get to that level due to the fact that it's going to be interacting with a lot of land and as well as drier air and a lot of shear as well out there as of right now. And a bunch of computer models are bringing this everywhere. I mean, we're talking this system could go anywhere from New England back out to the sea or it even could go into the Gulf of Mexico. Again, there is a lot of uncertainty on this track. The more likelihood situation is this that will likely go out to sea. But again, there's a lot of question marks. Make sure to stay updated again with Max Velocity here on YouTube. We'll keep you updated with the latest. Hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're not already. This forecast is brought to you by Platinum Contracting and All Dense Repair.